You're watching State of Texas in depth on KXAN News. Good morning. Thanks for joining us for State of Texas in depth. I'm Josh Hinkle. With the state's school finance trial in play again over the week, education is top of mind for many voters these days. Attorneys for both the state and more than 600 school districts gave their closing arguments on Friday, but a ruling likely won't come out until next month. Last year, a state district judge ruled the state's system for funding public education is both inadequate and unfairly distributed. That was after lawmakers cut $5.4 billion, but the judge reopened the case last month after the legislature restored about two-thirds of that cut while easing graduation standards. No matter the ruling, the decision will likely go on to the Texas Supreme Court. And no surprise, education is also shaping up to be the major issue for the race for governor this year so far. Democrat Wendy Davis released her plan for schools last month. So far, the biggest key to her campaign that focuses on offering more incentives to new teachers and higher pay to keep experienced educators. Beyond schools, though, her her main Republican rival, Attorney General Greg Abbott, just revealed his plan for more border security, an additional $300 million in spending in that area, and he says assets seized at the border can help pay for that. Let me be perfectly clear, you know, right now and forever, absolutely no tax increase whatsoever for any of my programs. Uh, the Abbott administration will not have any tax increases. Before they go up against one another, Abbott and Davis have the March 4th primary. Theirs is not the competitive statewide race, though. Instead, that distinction goes to the race for lieutenant governor. With less than a month ahead of the Republican primary, that race continues to heat up. We go one-on-one -on -one with incumbent David Dewhurst, coming up on State of Texas In-Depth.